The Piedmont Airlines DC-3, the Potomac pacemaker, last flew for the Winston-Salem-based air carrier in 1963. It has twice been rescued from deterioration and will soon be a massive component of the North Carolina Transportation Museum's aviation displays. The aircraft was actually built not as a DC-3, a commercial passenger plane, but under the military designation C-53, created as a troop hauler. Built in March of 1942 at the Douglas Aircraft Company's Santa Monica, California plant, the airplane remained in the United States during World War II and was given over to civilian service in 1945, used by Western Airlines based in California. Piedmont Airlines purchased the airplane, now redesignated as a commercial DC-3, in 1956, registered it as N56V, and dubbed her the Potomac Pacemaker. Piedmont Airlines had been founded eight years earlier by Tom Davis, with the company primarily using DC-3s to fly their short routes to serve numerous cities across North Carolina, as well as northward to Cincinnati, Ohio and Louisville, Kentucky, eastward to Norfolk, Virginia, and southward to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. As the airline moved into the 1960s, other aircraft joined the ranks. The company's revenues were up, and larger airplanes began to edge out the 28-passenger DC-3s. The Potomac Pacemaker was retired in 1963, just a few short years before Boeing 727 jets began flying for the company, carrying more than 120 passengers at a time and able to serve flights to Atlanta and New York City. Piedmont would go on to grow into a major player in air travel, eventually being absorbed by U.S. Air in 1989. The Potomac Pacemaker was the final DC-3 to fly for Piedmont. It had logged 48,000 hours in the air, and its days of flying were finished. The plane became property of the Charlotte Aircraft Company, eventually becoming derelict. In 1978, the Potomac Pacemaker was purchased by the Museum of Life and Science in Durham, North Carolina. Piedmont Airlines, in an effort to preserve its own history, provided $20,000, replacement engines and propellers, and later another $7,000 to paint the aircraft into its original color scheme. The DC-3 remained on display there for nearly 25 years before being purchased by the North Carolina Transportation Museum Foundation in 2002. After a year and a half of planning and preparation for the move to Spencer, the DC-3 took up residence in the back shop in 2004. It was a new beginning for the Potomac Pacemaker, but the airplane had only been partially restored during its time in Durham, and a full restoration was needed. It was April of 2010 that restoration work truly began. Former Piedmont Airlines officials Bob Reed, Howard Miller, and stewardess Carol Dobbins Fair all pushed hard for the restoration and worked to garner attention to the project and to bring in volunteers, many of them former Piedmont employees, to perform the work. Students at Guilford Technical Community College's aviation program aided in the restoration as well. And the work continues. Saturdays each month, the DC-3 restoration crew gathers to restore deteriorated pieces of the airplane, to clean and repair what once streaked through the sky, and to eventually make her whole again. The restoration is now led by Bill Wilkerson, himself a flight captain for Piedmont Airlines and later U.S. Air. He has been instrumental to seeing the project through. Crews are in the final stretch now. It won't be long until the Piedmont Airlines DC-3, the Potomac Pacemaker, is whole once more, telling the story of an airline, illustrating the history of post-World War II commercial air travel, and representing a major chapter of aviation history.